So today we're going to continue my quest for the perfect home media server. And so we're going to look at the GN41, which is a silent, so it has a passive cooler, mini PC. So welcome to Technodad Life, and my name is Jeff, and in my never-ending quest for the ultimate home theater PC or home media center PC, I came across something called the GN41, and I found it on Amazon. I'll, take, I'll show you that. And so basically, this is a Celeron N4, N4100, which is a quad-core, has 4 gigabytes of RAM, 64 gig eMMC, and and you put in your own hard drive and it has to be a two and a half inch drive so either a regular hard drive or ssd goes up to 2.0 gigahertz gigabit lan dual band wi-fi uh, the one thing that people might be concerned about it is it is renewed so that's why we got such a good price on it so the total price for this is slightly less than 120 dollars which can't be beat so now the thing about this is, so this has the Intel Graphics 600, which if we look at the Intel Wikipedia page for a quick sync, means that this is transcodes 4K video. So this is the absolute cheapest price for a mini PC that I found you can transcode 4K video. So I'm very happy. The other thing about this, is that it's a fanless design. So theoretically, the only thing that we should be hearing is actually the hard drive whirling. But let's look in the package. So we get our product manual. We get our mini PC. So on the front here, it has on off two, S two USB uh, SD card and USB-C. Nothing on the side. On the back, reset, power, VGA, HDMI, one Ethernet port, two USB 2, and a headphone jack. Then in the box I have two HDMI cables. They're, they are very short. Power supply, mounting bracket, and some sticky feet. So let's take off the back and let's add a hard drive in. So the space for the hard drive is pretty big. You can probably fit a 15 millimeter hard drive in here. I just have a regular laptop hard drive. This one is two terabytes. So the hard drive does move a little bit because the space is so big. So definitely just be aware of that. You're not gonna be wanting to throw this around at all. Oh, and I just thought of, this could be what these sticky feet are to actually uh, put on the hard drive. I don't know, though. Okay, so now I'm going to plug this in, boot it up, and you can hear the hard drive moves around. So again, you don't want to throw it around too much. So what comes on this computer is actually Windows 10 Pro, as far as I know. Now, the interesting here, thing here is I can see why this was renewed, because actually the Microsoft Edge web browser doesn't actually work on this, which to me doesn't matter, and that's probably why we got a good deal, is because I am going to be installing Linux, in particular Open Media Vault on this, which should do a much better job on this because it's not as bloated as Windows 10 Pro. So let's do that now. Okay, so I've been letting this run for a few days now and there's a couple things that stood out. So this is a renewed item and so technically what it should be is, is good as new after it's been factory refurbished. Besides Internet Explorer not uh, starting up after we closed it, which I was able to fix just by running Windows Update and getting all the most recent updates, and that fixed that problem. The other problem that I ran into was if I turn the computer off and turned it back on, 
uh, if it cooled off, then it would come back a fuzzy screen. And we'll see if I have a copy of that here. And so to fix the fuzzy screen, it's like the TV channels out of tune. All I would have to do is let the computer run for a minute and then restart it. And then everything would be fine after that. I don't quite know what the problem is there, but just the computer heating up solved the problem. Now I installed Open Media Vault on it, and basically I've been running it for a few days and there's been no problems at all. So, but because this is a renewed computer and I did have some strange problems, I'm definitely going to return this and I'll still be in search of my little silent mini PC, or as silent as we can get. I'm in search of that perfect mini computer mini home server for the home. So that's it for today. I uh, hope you find this helpful. Make sure you like and subscribe. We'll see you next time. Bye bye. And a special thank you to all my patrons who without your support, this channel would not be possible. And if you haven't already, please think about supporting the channel you love. Thank you.